What happened? So, maybe no one was wondering, but if you're curious, allow me to spell out the grinder I just spent the last two years of my life inside of called the not making music, living in downtown LA, shifting my priorities and values to perform soul-sucking tasks outside of both my talents and comfort zones, or the N-M-M-L-I-D-L-A-S-M, forget it, um, acronyms are lame anyway, from the top. In early 2014, while in between jobs, I found myself with an uncanny amount of free time, and I launched the channel Button Pushers United. If that sounds familiar, it's because you're on that channel right now watching this video. Bless you. It was originally intended to be a community and content compendium of works in the controllerism arena, and we were off to a good start. I had uploaded some performances, went to the NAMM show, met great people, was even able to review some gear in the process. Not long after that though, like many projects, YouTube channels and alike, life intervened, discipline wavered, and ultimately, priorities like not dying and somehow combating crippling student debt became slightly more important than busting out sweet grooves and reverse engineering them into performances to appease the almighty hashtag do more than press play. I will say though, that it definitely wasn't all bad. I learned skills I never thought I was capable of, overcame plenty of ridiculous obstacles and setbacks, and sat in rooms across from people I couldn't ever imagine myself being in the company of. Those years in K-Town, the Korean immigrant community of Los Angeles, showed me just how much grit I really had. Toward the end of my time there in the past few months though, it became ever more apparent that I had ignored something. Something deeply integrated into the part of me that was, well, me. I had bucked the system that was the universe long enough, and I finally realized that what so many people had told me was actually true. And I, of course, was not wise enough to listen to them in the first place. There are many quotes I could recite, but I'll try to sum it up for you. Don't fight it. Actually, be yourself. Trying to be like anyone else is a surefire strategy for becoming invisible, and it will be met with just as much or more resistance than simply doing the former. So that's why I'm here now. BPU was the embodiment of something I cared so deeply for that I couldn't ignore it, and now I've returned full circle, more prepared than ever to do something with this and with all of you. I've relocated and rededicated myself to pushing the limits of music and technology and riding that wave for as long as it will go. And to prove it, the music you're listening to right now is actually the newest track I've made using just samples from items I found in my home after I moved. Be sure to follow the link in the description and stay tuned every Friday for new live performances, tutorials, reviews, musical experiments, and a whole lot more. Oh, and don't forget, do more than press play.